A woman came up to Jesus with an alabaster flask of very expensive ointment, and she poured it on his head as he reclined at table. And when the disciples saw it, they were indignant, saying, Why this waste? This could have been sold for a large sum and the money given to the poor. Why these lights? Why those guitars? Why the carpets? How did you spend all this money? How do you justify spending all this money on worship when there's poor people in Africa starving and dying? But Jesus said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? She has done a beautiful thing for me. The Lord likes it when people do extravagant things to praise him. And he does not like it when other people, in the name of spirituality, come to pour cold water all over the work of the Holy Spirit. As I said, there are some people that seem to have nothing better to do than surf around on the internet, find the most popular worship songs, and then post videos saying things like, That's not worship! Can you believe they acted that way? I would never sing a song like that. Don't you know that those people don't agree with us doctrinally? How dare, I don't know how you can do that and call yourself a Christian. Do you think God is happy with you when you do that? Friends, I've been a worship leader a lot longer than I've been a pastor. I've heard it all. Your worship is too lavish. Spend all that money on guitar pedals. You probably could have given that to homeless people. Or... Everything is too simple. Where's the stained glass? Where's the glory? You ever see those old cathedrals? God is worthy of all that. It's too loud. I can't hear anything. It's too quiet. I can't feel the music when you play. Your songs are too wordy. I can't keep up with them all. Why are your songs so short? There needs to be more depth and meaning in these songs. Those old hymns had 100 verses each, young man. (laughs) It's too dense. I can't understand it all. It's too much to get through. It's too watered down. Where's the doctrine in all these songs? It's too old-fashioned. Why don't you get on with the new thing that's happening? It's all too new. I'm not used to this. You're too wild and move too much on stage. Why are you all so reserved and just standing still on stage? Every one of those things, friend, is a cultural complaint only. It's not spiritual. Nothing to do with Christ. It has to do with your preference of music. And I really don't want to have an opinion on that. God distinctly despises it when someone belittles another man's worship. Look at those people lifting their hands. How dare they? They think, oh, they think everyone's looking at you now? Look at them moving around in church. They don't know that this is a time to be sober. And don't you know there's people dying and going to hell? How can you sing a song like that? that that's just, that's, I, don't, I can't get into that music. And it, it's all just seems really weird and, and not like what I'm used to. And the Lord goes, would you stop that? They're worshiping me. Sometimes we see videos of people having wild and exuberant worship in another part of the world, and we go, oh, isn't it wonderful? And then you see it in our own town, and we go, that's unseemly. So which, which one are you being unfair to? Are you saying that those poor African people don't know any better to have proper worship? Or are you saying that I just want it to be a certain way where I'm there? Guys, if you want to welcome the presence of God, you better not have a critical spirit, because God will shut you right down. And you will find a barren spiritual life for yourself, but because you think you're right, you will confuse that for true spirituality. But I'm not really trying to rebuke our church. This is a pretty intense passage, so you've got to get tough. But y'all, if I could only add anything to what we need as a church, I just would like us to see have greater exaltation, be more celebratory. You know, since the band has been uh, expanding a little bit, we've been kind of turning it up a little bit, because we should be exulting and celebrating in God's presence. We should be welcome to the Spirit of God and the exercise of the gifts. We should not just, just be coming to church to be instructed. I'm glad you are. But we should be coming to church to celebrate and worship and sing unto the Lord. You might be a dignified man or woman, but isn't the Lord worth becoming undignified for? I thought we should be dignified. Yeah, but what did David say? I'll become even more undignified. You're going to think I'm crazy, Michael, but God's going to love it, and God's people are going to get it. I can't, I can't get that crazy in church. Well, maybe not, but don't you have a piece of that joy somewhere in there? A piece of that celebration? Don't quench the spirit by teasing and scolding and criticizing. Have your preferences. I'm glad that there are churches that are doing things totally different than us, but I'm never going to come in and say, but if you did it like us, you'd be better. <laughs>